Welcome back to Scott Trade Center here in downtown St. Louis. The Blues and the Capitals. They met once earlier this year in our nation's capital, a game that was won by Washington as we take a look at the starting goaltenders. Brought to you by Honda. There is Braden Holtby getting the start. Not Yaroslav Halak. Holtby coming off a 4-3 win, a shootout win against the New York Islanders. As Coach Adamo said, he has played well of late. Down at the other end, it is Ryan Miller as we are underway here at Scott Trade Center. Blues, oh, as no. Brian Englund mentioned in his conversation with Devin Chapsburg, have not lost three in a row all season. They've lost their last two. As Roman Kolak's shot was blocked by Orloff, and it bounces out to center right. Koliakovo took a slight batter, but now Chimera for the Capitals gets it deep into the blue zone. Miller settles it down. Polak, that went through his partner, Koliakovo, but it's picked up by Berglund. Patrick Berglund. I got a line here right now with Devoka. And back is out there. They're kind of in the middle of the chain, guys. I can hear them. The rest of the uh, line combination that Ken hit back once is a shot by Skeen. His first came back and the timing a little bit off as he fanned on that one. He was trying to keep his head up and find a way to get it through to the net. So he wasn't really looking at the puck and he missed it. Now back is tried to tip it deep into the capital zone. It was blocked by Alder across to Carlson. Now Grabowski, Mikhail Grabowski, number 84 playing with Ovechkin and Backstrom. Ovechkin chasing after it. Ovechkin with 49 goals on the season, four-time 50-goal scorer. This is one of two NHL arenas he has not scored in in his career, the other being the Staples Center in Los Angeles. I mentioned that to him this morning, Dave. I said, did you know you hadn't scored here? He went, no. And he had a great look on his face like, yeah, I bet you he gets 11 shots <laughs> tonight. But Tranquil trying to get a shot through. That was blocked. It ends up behind the Washington net, picked up here by Steve Ott, whose numbers indicating he is struggling since becoming a blue. But his coach, Ken Hitchcock, said he's like the rest of our guys right now, trying to do a little bit too much, a little too individualistic. Here is Shattenkirk now. He tries to get a pass through. That was blocked by Alston. That wasn't played very very well by uh, the grade eight either. He tried to flip the puck out of the zone. He barely got it to the center red line. Then he and three other teammates changed, and they got caught on that change. Hot for LaPierre across the line now. Comes it in behind Fruyette, and then Donald Carrick took a, a hard hit behind the Capitals goal, but it's out to center ice now. The steps off across the line. Number 92 slapped away from him and back inside the Capitals head. Carrick pressured there by Ryan Reed. Now the puck rolls in on Holtby. He just steers to the side. Luke coming off losses here against Colorado and of course on NBC Sunday in Chicago against the Blackhawks. Carrick and Priyette playing together on defense for Washington. And you know that St. Louis wants to get in the zone and spend extended time inside the end. Both team coaches, of course, want to spend as little time as possible. Ken Hitchcock used the 10-second rule. He said, if my guys can count to 10 inside the zone, we're already getting in trouble. And uh, when Adam Oates was talking about that, he said, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Get back to the puck quick, get it out of the zone. He said, even if we have to dump it out more than we really want to, it'll be better against the St. Louis team. Yeah, make them go back and tag up, he said, at the neutral zone. Regroup as many times as possible, because the Blues are one of the best on the offensive side of spending time in the zone, and Jackman now back to play it. Behind his own net, around on the right wing side, Oshie tips it down the ice. This will go far enough for an icing call. And as we get a look at uh, Ryan Miller. Ryan Miller's done his job. Coming over here, St. Louis Blues, he's 10-4-1. and one. Didn't play against Chicago last game. He is one and two in his last three games. He's had to make some adjustments. I mean, he goes six, seven, eight minutes sometimes without a shot on goal. That's different than most of his career in Buffalo. Alster, after a face-off win, shot to the net, doesn't get through. Backstrom picks it up, back to the line. Carlson hands it off on the board for Backstrom. Now Grabowski with it. Hands it back to the line now for Alster. Alster, a shot in front, hit by Backstrom. Now uh, Saboka back to help out, but it's intercepted back to try to get it in front to Obeska. Shattenkirk was there. Hands it off to Berkland. On the line here with Saboka and Oshi. Saboka with a shot right through, and it goes just wide. Held in by Bolmeister, knocked down by Obeska. Back out to center right. Oshi not on that uh, number one line right at the moment. Ken Hitchcock has changed them around a little bit. Steen, of course, back in the lineup. You would expect the big line to be back together, but not so. 
Big Schwartz recognized it with the line change. Things were not going as planned and straight back to try to make a play on that puck. Now Petrangelo slides it ahead out of the reach of Jake Schwartz. Parrish back to get it. Just to get back quickly to what uh, you were talking about, Ryan Miller, he's done his job. Ted Hitchcock has high praise for Ryan Miller for what he's already meant to this team. In addition to what he does on the ice in terms of stopping pucks, he said his presence in the room and his knowledge of you know, everybody's role. Very important. And just out to the line, Polak shot, picked up Steen, and a save made by Hopi. Now Steen with it again. Back out to the line, Roman Polak, head up, gets the shot through, that was tipped wide. Will the defense getting a couple of shots through here on the early going? Yeah, 12 games without a goal, that's the longest streak in the National Hockey League for no goals from defensemen from any team. Unusual for St. Louis, who've been so effective all season long, I guess this part of the ebbs and flows of the season. But you can bet that they're concentrating on getting pucks through tonight. Lafayette gets it into the cap zone, dumps it along the boards behind Holtby. Orlock is there, and a weave his way through traffic. Backhands it to the line, Reed could not hold it in. Barrett Jackman with it. Trying to chip it along, and now Ott will send it along the boards behind Holtby. Settles it down there, takes a quick look, hands it off to Orlock. Again, the Capitals without Mike Green didn't make the trip, but will continue on from here to Carolina for the Washington Capitals. Again, the Capitals are pretty much in a situation where they need to win out and still get some help. And it starts tonight. They need to win and they need some help from Phoenix. And at the end of one period in Columbus, the Coyotes were up one nothing on the Blue or excuse me, 2-1 on the Blue Jackets. Oh, Orlov bangs it off the boards. Tyson Strachan, who started his career here in St. Louis, sends it down the ice. Miller has to play it. Coley Akabo under some pressure, gets it ahead to Brendan Morrow. He chipped it off the wall, and it's brought out through center ice. Dmitry Yaskin with it now, number 26. Playing in his 15th game with the Blues this season. Out to the line, Roman Polak with it. Tried to drop it back, but it's too much of an angle on it. Dumped it right back to center ice. Derek Roy plays it back ahead now. Yaskin and Morrow. Along with Derek Roy and Dustin Penner. He's back in the lineup for the Washington Capitals. After missing two of the last three and playing only six minutes in the other. Yaskin to the front. Trying to find Roy on a timing pattern and it missed the stick. Juliet with it now for Penner. Out to center ice. Olmeister knocks off his stick. Backstrom with it. Hands it off now to Ovechkin. Ovechkin with a shot that was blocked by Petrangelo. Comes over the stick of Backstrom. Chased down by Sabotka on the far side. Grabowski gets there. He tries to chip it along, but it's blocked. And here comes Oshi now. Will the St. Louis Blue? Sweeps it into the capital zone, but the play whistled offside. Seven and a half gone here in the first period. Vladimir Sabotka with a chance here on Braden Holmby in a scoreless game. In queue with the game break, big time East-West wildcard matchup, Phoenix against Columbus. The Coyotes can't clear. Columbus makes some pay. It's Mark Letestu that ties it at two. Dave, if Columbus wins, Detroit picks up a point against the Sabres and Washington loses. The Caps postseason quest is over. One of the scenarios for sure, Liam, as uh, we're keeping an eye on the, the playoff implications of all these other games for the National Hockey League, and it is a busy night. Schwartz uh, able to jam it along. Steen trying to put it in front of there for the cap. Now Backstrom, Grabowski. Steen closes it on him. Carlson moved up, knocked away by Gage Schwartz, out to the center ice. And back is down, hands it off. Steen. Two Washington Capitals on him. Alster slides it ahead. Grabowski, number 84, crossed the line. Carlson jumping up on the plate with a shot. Miller the save. And he hangs on. They need a little bit more of that in this game. The defenseman jumping up, especially Carlson. Yaroslav Halak just got a bit of a tribute there. They showed him in a St. Louis Blues uniform a moment ago during the TV timeout, and he got a nice round of applause on even from the St. Louis Blues. Interesting that he didn't play this game, no doubt. He was asked basically by Adam Oates, do you want to play this game? And he said, it's too soon. So I think Adam Oates was uh, a little surprised by it, certainly. I would have been, I know that, and I'm sure pretty much every coach in the league would be as well. But he chose not to play in this game, didn't feel right, didn't feel comfortable, and didn't think he could do the job. 
Racket with a shot here intentionally wide looking for a carom off the board. Chimera got a stick on it for the Capitals. Recovered now by Jackman who angles it off the end boards and Chet circles counted away for the Blues. DJ Yoshi plays it ahead. The Boca puts it along. Racket for the Capitals. They get it around and out to center right. Talking about that Columbus game too, Dave. Not only do they affect obviously themselves and, and Washington, they affect the Western Conference too. They're in, they're uh, playing Phoenix tonight, and then they go right to Dallas for tomorrow. Yeah, that's that makeup game that will start one nothing Dallas. As Orloff with a shot here that is knocked aside. Now Eric Fair with it sends it back along the boards. Left off makes a play on it. Now it's pushed ahead. And Ryan Reed back the other way. Orloff takes it to the board. And it's recovered by Carrick for the Capitals. He plays it ahead now for Kuznetsov. Long area pass there looking for Johansson. He's taken hard to the board. And recovered now by Lafayette. Steps off. Back behind his own net. Bouillette, number 59. He played four games since his recall. I think I got that backwards. That game will start 1-0 Columbus tomorrow, not 1-0 Dallas. Gaskin yeah, tried to make a play along the end board. Now it is out to center right. Beagle plays it ahead. Tried to hit Penner. It was blocked and the Capitals making changes. Had to be careful with that puck back to the area of their bench. As Strachan played it ahead, Beagle trying to squeeze through and check. Derek Roy is there. Now Beagle hands it off to Tom Wilson, back to the line. Strachan looking for a shooting lane. Nothing there. Two blues right in his face. And it's back out to center ice for the Capitals regain. Both teams have done a good job of not getting pressed inside their own zone. One or two shifts, St. Louis started to put a little pressure. Washington found a little handle on a lot of this game. It's been back and forth through the neutral. Wilson with a shot on the angle, the save made by Miller. We will hang on. When we come back, we will hear from the head coach of the St. Louis Blues, Ken Hitchcock Scoreless here in St. Louis. You said this morning you were looking for some predictability in your team. Are you seeing what you want so far? Well, we're getting it in. What we're not doing is getting it stopped, Brian. We're we're doing the right stuff, but we're not winning the second man race. We're our first guy is doing a great job, but they got they got more support, so they're exiting a little bit quicker than we want to. But I think we're kind of playing their game a little bit right now. They want to skate, they want to make plays, and and we're kind of watching them a little bit right now. Thanks, Ken. Yeah, Ken Hitchcock, when he was talking about being predictable, he meant to each other, to your teammates. He said, well, we're predictable. We manage the puck as well or better than any team in the NHL. And when we do that, we play faster. That's and, what he's looking for. And, and Dave, I talked to some of the St. Louis Blues this morning, and they say, I said, is it, is it harder to play a predictable game when you play an unpredictable team like Washington? They said, yes. <laughs> that is just offside. Grabowski just in ahead of the puck on the uh, turnover in the neutral zone. Washington has to get something going offensively, five on five. I think their power play is just fantastic. 65 goals on the on the season. They've got 33 power play goals at home and 32 power play goals on the road. So they can bring it there. But it's the five on five play that's been well documented by everybody. Too many minuses, not enough pluses, enough five on five. Blues get it in deep. Here's what Coach Hitchcock was talking about. Do so they win the second battle? They do this time. Holby Stern shot. Skips through and a save made by Holby. They had a couple of layers on that one. Wendy's Robocam is going to give you a good look at it. David Backus, I think, took quite a bit of the steam off, but I believe it hit him in the foot. But there's the second man that Ken Hitchcock was talking about. They retrieved the puck, get it back. Backus got some of it, took the steam off, and Brayton Holby does a nice job. That puck definitely got all the way through it. Hope he's able to clean up the loose change afterwards. St. Louis Blues, two points behind Boston in the race for the President's Trophy, but they lose the tiebreaker. Regulation and overtime wins, and they're only one ahead of Anaheim for first in the West. Now Oshie. Herrick giving him a rough ride in the corner. Oshie again. Back the other way. Now jammed up the wall by the Capitals. 
Rivera got it near the line, didn't get it out yet. Now he does. And fortunate for the Blues, award lost an edge there, or the Capitals may have had a hot man break into the zone. He knows it too. He's just grimacing like, I can't believe I did that. He knew they had a chance. Now chipped by Chimera out through center ice. Poliakovo back to get it. Chimera up to put pressure on the St. Louis defenseman. Now Bergman hands it off on the near side. Sabotka center of the ice with a shot save. Rebound chance. Kicked aside by Holtby. Johansson plays it to the boards and Brower will just make sure that he clears the zone. Good center drive push there by St. Louis and Sabotka had a really good look. Washington really backed off the line. Steps off, plays it ahead, Troy Brower. Across the line. On the backhand, tried to beat it to Johansson, intercepted by Jackman. Plays it back the other way for Steve Ott, and pushes it deep into the capital zone. Little self-tip play, and Strachan trying to cut off Ott. Ott getting some help from Lafayette. Now he'll wheel it back along the boards behind the Washington net. Nice and Strachan trying to be strong back there. He's a big kid, I mentioned he started his NHL career with the Blues. Excited to be back here in this building as it comes out to the line. Jackman rolls it across Shattenkirk. Chop through traffic goes just wide. Brower chops at it. Will he get it out? And nobody's sure where the puck is. And we get a whistle. That was more of a classic St. Louis Blues shift there. They got the puck in deep. Watch this rush from the neutral zone. Look how Washington backs off the line. Good center to lane push there. Oshie going to the net. Berglund going to the net. And that allowed Sabotka to get to the tops of the circles. Take his time, take a beat, and take a good low shot, low to the stick side. Holtby's ready for this game. Holtby looks really sharp. Very quick legs for Creighton Holtby. Julian Bruget that plays it ahead. Wilson deflects it in deep. Miller for Pollock along the board. Penner got a stick on it. Taken back momentarily by the Blues. Chopped away by Beagle. That forces Poliakovo to battle against Wilson. Now Derek Roy with it. Roman Pollock lays it ahead now for Brendan Morrow. Herrick stood him up in the neutral zone. Well, Yaskin lost his glove while he was on the rush. He's continuing to try to play. Now he'll pick up the glove as the cut came to Morrow. Shot never got through up the right wing side. And Wilson able to get it to center ice and back into the St. Louis zone. Pollock pressure. Yaskin with it now. Hands it off and it's chipped by the Blues out to center ice. Carlson trying to settle the puck down. It's kind of a strange atmosphere down here at ice level, to be honest with you. There's not a lot of incredible intensity. Not like the last time we were in here for the Philadelphia game. Back to with a shot that was blocked by Miller with the right pad, and it starts to rush the other way. Back is trying to feather a pass through. It was played well by Carlson. Now back is with it again. All are watching him out to the line now. Cole Meester sends it along for Steen. Alexander Steen, nice play for Bacchus, and that's deflected up on the netting. And out of play. Under six remaining in the first, still scoreless with the Blues putting on pressure. Well, the Capitals, uh, Liam, can get to 91 if they win their last four games. You have Detroit at 88, Columbus at 87, Philadelphia at 89. You see that even with winning all those games, Washington needs these other teams to stumble quite a bit. I found Washington pretty laid back, Dave. When I interviewed Jason Chimera in the pregame, he was, you know, kind of laughing and joking around. They're trying to keep it light. He even, uh, he even talked to uh, Jay Bolmister and said, hey, we need these points, Jay. Let me go wide a couple of times. Jay just <laughs> smiled at him and just, uh, sorry, can't do it. Bergman now on a turnover. Tried to speed it to Sabotka. Rolls out to the line. Shattenkirk flies it across. Here's Jackman. Looking for a shooting lane, nothing there. Blocked by Chimera. Does he get it out? He does not. Here's Jackman. Slides it across Oshie. Oshie hands it off. Bergman took nice stick handling there to keep it alive. Now intercepted by Strachan, and he'll play it out to center ice for Ward, who dumps it into the St. Louis zone. Well, this is all classic chip it out, chip it in. That's the Capitals have done so far. They're playing a very patient game. They're not looking like that team that seems constantly offensively driven. They're paying attention to detail here, defensively. Now Jack Kirk, the defenseman, and deep back. This is all the way back at uh, Jack Kirk's position at the right point. Keeps it in, a shot here, and that's held on to by Braden Holtby. 
Can you predict the Stanley Cup playoffs? Challenge your friends and family or compete in public leagues for a chance to win great prizes, including tickets to the 2015 Stanley Cup Final. Fill out your bracket at NHL.com slash bracket. Talked to Braden Holtby this morning, asked them about his style changes. Early in the year, they wanted him to move deeper in the net. They thought it would be better long term, but he has struggled this year. He said, I'm starting to come out and be more aggressive again. What worked for me and what was successful for me last year. They're hoping it'll end up somewhere in between. They We've got hands in front here and Holtby. What a reaction he made there. Lost his helmet, but able to hang on. Oh. His helmet just flew right off there. Reeves was all alone in front of the net there. Good turnover, good forecheck in there by St. Louis. Starts from the, from the faceoff, and Washington actually wins the faceoff. Those are the ones you're supposed to win. That's Carrick is in there, Briette. The two young defensemen kind of get crossed up. And look at Ryan Reeves. Oh, my goodness. You're not supposed to make mistakes like that in front of the net. Somebody's got to be in front of the net, not three guys behind for Washington. Oh, Major with a shot save. Rebound given up, and... Carlson able to jam it to the line, held in by Petrangelo with a shot that sails wide. Now Ott for LaPierre, Alter on him. Maxim LaPierre along the board, out near the blue line, backhand it along the wall. Beagle battling there against Ryan Reeves, and now here is Ott with it. Tried to go back to Reeves, it's picked off by Jay Beagle, he rushes it out through center right and gets it into the blue zone. Miller moves it along Petrangelo. A little short outlet pass there, and LaPierre leads it back the other way. Orlov for Strachan. Kuznetsov lost into the neutral zone. Picked up by Derek Roy. All five Capitals are back. And they're able to clear it to center right. Oh, good support there. That's, that's part of what Ken Hitchcock had noticed, too, from Washington. Their second guy on the puck defensively. They are swarming inside their own zone. That was tough for Derek Roy. He had nowhere to go. Penalty coming against the Blues as Ovechkin was carrying the puck back into his own zone, trying to make the right play. He was hooked, and now on the delayed call, it is Orloff up on the rush, but we will get the indication here. It's going to be a hooking call and a chance for that power play that scored more goals than any other team in the league. It's going to be Derek Roy going to the penalty box. They're in on the forecheck, there's Ovechkin, and there's the reach in. He gets hit from behind pretty hard after the fact there too, but there's the hook. Power play Washington Capitals, but the shorthanded Blues win. LeBron is headed down the ice. St. Louis second best penalty kill, and the Capitals the second best power play percentage in the National Hockey League. Brian, you already mentioned 65 power play goals for the Washington Capitals. And back from out in front, backhanded just wide. Roy Brower, where he is so effective, it close, didn't have much time to do what he wanted as the Blues able to clear. You, you get one stash at it, and that's it. Back from so quick along the boards and in the corner. What a nice quick up there by the goaltender, Holtby, to back to get it all the way back into the blue zone. A big hit at the corner. Ovechkin put his arm up like he wanted a penalty, but he's going to get a shot here that is blocked. The Washington player still down. Roy Brower. Meanwhile, short hand of the play goes back the other way. Jack, the backhand shot, Holtby steers to the side as Brower skating to the bench under his own power. Oh, and then he's run into there by Johansson, who didn't see him, and Johansson is injured. Oh, oh, my. Now I've seen everything. Like, Troy Brower was blinking. Like, he was barely functioning coming back to the bench. He's still sitting on the bench there, and he, zi he zigged right into Johansson while Johansson was zagging on the rush. Oh my goodness! Look, look at, look at Brower. He's just, he just out of it. He might have been better off to just stay down in the ice because first of all, St. Louis had a three-on-one going the other way. Here's the hit by Jackman. He's well away from the boards, but he's leaning forward, and you can see the way in which he goes into the boards. He's able to turn his head. Look at the left side of your screen. Johansson is looking backwards, expecting a pass, and I swear I'm looking right at Brower. I'm looking in his eyes as he comes to the bench and he was just sort of out of it on his feet. I don't think he even saw Johansson, even though he was immediately in front of him. He was just trying to literally find his way to the bench. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that before. Still a minute remaining of the Derek Roy minor penalty. Two and a half remaining here in the first period. 
Rauer and Johansson, as you see, both remaining on the Washington bench for now as Kamara dumps it along the end board. Joel Ward gets it there. Ovechkin chips it along. Intercepted by the Blues. They're going to look to break here. Savoka looking across for court. Come on, get the shot. He lifted it too high. And back the other way, Joel Ward hands it off to Kuznetsov. Right side, Kamara. Back to number 92, Kuznetsov, and the Capitals set it up. Ward redirected with his foot back to Carlson. What time for Ovechkin scores! There's number 50 for Alexander Ovechkin, the fifth time in his career. What a shot. And his first goal here ever in Scott Trade Center. And that only took the one good chance. That is the classic Alexander Ovechkin shot on the power play. Just get it to him in the wheelhouse, and all you hear is a click and then a clank. There's the chance at one end of the ice for Saboka, and he shoots it high over the net. Back coming the other way, look at Ovechkin, this is what he does. One of the most unique shooting styles because of the way he cocks the stick. He gets extra torque on it, and that's just a clean, crisp shot that is absolute perfection inside the post. That one's unstoppable. Ryan Miller had a perplexed kind of uh, look, like how did that go in? Although he certainly has faced Obetkin many times as a member of the Buffalo Sabres, but still, that had to be a perfect shot, and it was. And he's over so far, it's tough to go that far and stand beside him, and you take yourself out if you're the uh, defender for the St. Louis Blues. But he can score from there, obviously. Now Steen across the line, trying to send it across. Ends up on the stick of Koliakovo, who pushes it along for Jaden Schwartz. Eric Fair is there now for the Capitals. He got it in the direction of Penner, but this is going to be an icing call. Well, this is the uh, company that Alexander Ovechkin has joined in terms of players in the history of the National Hockey League that have had five or more 50-goal seasons. Steve Eisenman, who just got the contract extension as general manager in Tampa Bay. Brett Hall, who's in the building tonight. His dad, Bobby. Bill Esposito, Pavel Burry. They've all had five. You see the, the rest of the list of players going up the line. Just uh, an incredible accomplishment. Look at Lemieux, Lafleur, Dion, Kretzky, and Bossy topping that list. Mike Bossy, one of the great pure shooters. He could appreciate that shot by Alexander Ovechkin. Nine 50-goal seasons for Mike Bossy. Only played 10 years because of a bad back. Ovechkin went through a stretch there where he was not playing with uh, Nicholas Backstrom very much. He was playing with Jay Beagle. They were trying to round out things defensively because he's given up so much on the other side. He's such a, a huge minus. So Beagle's more of a defender. Plus, they wanted to split Backstrom up and get Backstrom against other defenders as well at the number 5D a little more often. And it, uh, it worked a little bit, but naturally, you know, the two big guys, Backstrom and Ovechkin, are end up back together sooner than later. Carlson for Backstrom, wanted to chip it across for Ovechkin, it's dumped by the Blues out to center right. Alger had it knocked away by Berkland, who lost his stick but tried to show a little soccer skill. But the Capitals able to get it back the other way. Grabowski now for Ovechkin. Ovechkin looks across. Tries to make a move there on Petrangelo. Now the puck picked up by Backstrom. Backstrom with a shot into the glove of Miller. Ovechkin setting the screen that time. Well, call Star Star NHL to download NHL Game Center. Get a free premium upgrade only on Verizon. Enjoy exclusive, like free live NBC National Games. Never be without hockey. Alexander Ovechkin, a lot of times in games, wants to be double shifted. Adam Oates said, look, he'll, he'll point to Backstrom or Beagle, whoever he's playing with at center. Look, they're tired. He said they have to work so much in their own end sometimes. You've got to work harder. You might be fresh, but they're not ready to go yet. They're going to have to wait. Now Reeves, deep in the Washington zone. Carl Walter on hit. Now LaPierre, Camara, trying to be physical. Plays it out to the line, held it. Shot though was blocked. And it's turned back the other way. Beagle for Camara, who sends it back into the blue zone. Omicher played it up the wall. Now it's chopped at and ends up uh, hitting the netting over the glass and out of play. Coming up on the Lexus Intermission Report, Liam and Keith will talk about uh, Ben Bishop leaving the game with an injury. An important game for Tampa Bay as they're trying to catch Montreal for second place in the division. And Nathan Horton, is he hurt again? Ten seconds remaining here in the first. 
Face off deep in the St. Louis zone, kind of a scramble on the face off, and the Blues able to jam it back into the Capitals end of the ice. That was David Backus jumping into the face-off circle. A centerman himself, he knows how important support is in that face-off circle. That'll do it for the first 20 minutes here at Scott Trade Center. You can cross this building off the list of places that Alex Ovechkin has not scored. Now it's only the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Ovechkin from Carlson and Ward on the power play. The Capitals with a 1-0 lead. The intermission report, Liam and Keith on the other side of this. The Al McGinnis statue outside the Scott Trade Center, and this is good news for the Washington Capitals. Johansson and Brower back on the Washington bench after that uh, initial hit that Brower took, and then the collision between the two of them as Brower was going to the bench. That's one of the strangest ones I've ever seen. Good thing to see they're back in the lineup. Dave Strader along with our man inside the glass, Brian Inkloff, 1-0, 50th goal of the season on the power play for Alex Ovechkin. Roman Polak, Tamara steps into him. Eric Farrell from the far side, chips it along. Now the Blues recover Oshie. Gets it to Berglund. Head for Samocha, knocked away. Orloff went down, but now Berglund carries on, hands off to Oshie for a shot. Won't be the save. Berglund back in front, oh, okay, back Henry missing it wide. Good chance there for number 74. Kept in the zone by the Blues. Oshie able to chop it up to the front. Now Wilson sends it on the far side. And Tamara able to play it back into the St. Louis zone. And Gage Ford hustling back to make the play. Anchors it off the boards all the way to center ice and back is Hanson. Behind Brayton Holpe, settles it there. Out the center right to Ovechkin. Back to pass, deflected by Steen. Picked up by Carlson, hammers one up high. And it's up on the netting, out of play. The St. Louis Blues this morning in their practice were practicing coming up the ice three on two, getting the puck wide and having the winger shoot from wide. This is the follow-up play later on, and Oshie gets to the front of the net, has a terrific chance on the backhand. Oshie gets open, has to play it off his foot, gets the shot, maybe a little bit wide of the net to get opportunity. Ovechkin hands it off, and Backlund couldn't handle it the way he wanted, and Steen sends it ahead now for Schwartz. Eight short, late man coming, Bobe's to top of the circle, and kind of drifted off his stick, the puck did, and now Grabowski turns it back to the Washington Capitals. Grabowski across the line. Mason slaps it away, it's recovered by Steen. Petrangelo ahead now for Gage Schwartz across the line. Hammers one up high on Holtby over the glove. Boy, St. Louis is missing that a lot in this game. Uh, Marcus Johansson for the Capitals. Connor Carrick now starts it back the other way. Drifting it along the boards in behind. Ryan Miller who off to Jackman, quickly off the boards for his partner, Jack Kirk, up the far side. Drew yet with a hit on Reeves. Now here comes Jackman joining the rush. Sends it across! And just misconnecting there with LaPierre. Off to the line, Jack Kirk. Now to Reeves, tries to jam it to the front. All the way to the near boards for Ott. Drops it back to the line, Jackman. Ott has it again, backhands it across. Jack Kirk with his head up, looking to make the play. And he'll take the shot that hit off a Washington player in front. Troy Brower angles it off the board. Ott holds it in. Right to the net. A chance score! LaPierre ties it at one. Getting pucks through from the point is something St. Louis was really focusing on. They've done a good job of that. They did it on this goal. LaPierre will come from the corner and his timing will be great, but the play starts up at the blue line. There's net front presence there from LaPierre. It'll go around to the other point. Washington doesn't get it out of the zone. Then LaPierre, who uses quick feet and the ability to kick it up onto his stick, the shot from the point. LaPierre is in behind. And by the, by the time Bruyette turns around, it's too late. Steve Otto get the assist. He's the one that uh, got the puck through from the line. It's Coley Akabo back at center right. Angles it off the boards, and now it is fired. Back in behind Holpe. Nice and stracking with it. Nearly lost it. Hands it off for Orloff. Let's go. Ninth 
of the year for LaPierre. As Gasket takes it wide now on Strachan. Now Wilson getting some help from Beagle who slides it across. Orloff will hammer one here and miss the net. The puck all the way around the boards and down into the walks it in. They down Dwayne Reeves also with an assist on the goal by LaPierre. Washington just needed to get the puck out of the zone more effectively, and certainly the coverage in front of the net, or lack of it, didn't help them on that goal. Now Berglund, Goldmeister joining the rush again. Savoca tied up on the play, Oshi has a quick spin move and got it off to Berglund for a shot that's blocked out to the line, Goldmeister. Off the back toward the Washington net, Capitals there. Stretch pass finds its way to Fair just off his stick, couldn't handle it completely. I think Bullmister just touched it enough. You realize he had a man in behind him, Dave. I think he just tweaked it enough that saved the two-on-one. But Crantle with a shot here over the glove of Braden Holtby. Now Backstrom. Gets it off for Carl Ausner. Plays it ahead for Grabowski. Grabowski for Backstrom up the middle with a shot and a save made by Ryan Miller. There's an example of a chance off the rush. Let's take a look at the St. Louis Blues on the rush. Their defensemen have joined the rush very well. Little stop-up play right side of your screen. Jackman comes on the play. Look how much time and room he had. He tries to make a pass at the last moment to Lapierre, and it just missed Lapierre's stick. Jay Bomester had jumped up on the rush. The Blues trying to activate that D again, coming late. Pretty effective. Blues with the draw, but Trangelo. Back is ahead now for Steen across the line. Little stick handle, but it's knocked away. Nicholas Backstrom with Schwartz bothering him. Ovechkin plays it ahead. Strong stick by Backus. Turns it over in the neutral zone. Tries to set up Schwartz. Taken back by Backstrom. Alter for Carlson. Plays it ahead for Alex Ovechkin, who has his 50th goal tonight. Backstrom realized that would have been offside, so he holds up. Such an intuitive player. He senses things, it seems, even before they happen. He knew Grabowski was going to be pushed over the line, and he just waited, waited around, and didn't force it. Turned over, though, by the Capitals here. Back the other way, Schwartz racing after it. Picked up now by Backus. He wanted to go to the slot area there for Petrangelo. Backus has it again, tries to go to the front, and it's chopped at and cleared by the Capitals out to center right. Petrangelo puts it softly back into the Capitals zone. Alster for Carlson. Stretch pass. Puck ends up back to the St. Louis set. Shat Kirk angles it off the board. Jackman. Joel Ward steps up on him, forces him back. Now ahead for Lafayette, who has the blue goal, looking for more here, but he was bothered by Alster on that shot attempt. Lafayette now for Ott. Hands it off out to the line. Shat Kirk looks for the shoot lane, and it was blocked. Puck held in here. LaPierre with a long range shot, hoping to save. Rebound gets it loose in the blue paint and steered out of there by Carlson. Now Jackman for LaPierre wheels it back in deep. Carlson tries to clear. It'll be held in by Shatkirk. He draws a penalty. Delayed call coming here against the Capitals. Now Shatkirk with a shot. He just missed the net. Jackman now. I've got a piece of that just deflected away. Reeves will hammer one right through. Still no possession by the Capitals. Extra attackers on empty net down to our right. Puck in along the boards behind the Capitals goal. Ott with it. Ott tries to jam it to the front. Comes right back to him. Out now for a one-timer by Shatrick again for Dino. What a save by Hopi. Did he ever get across in a hurry? The delayed penalty continues. Jack Ripple a shot up high missed to that. You talk about time of possession in the offensive zone. A clinic here by the Blues. The crowd. Coming to their feet, cheering a pass across the chance here, and it was just over the top of the net and into the netting on a play. Did Hopi get a piece of that one? Oh, oh he my might goodness. have. Power play coming for the Blues in a 1-1 game. Boy, what a stretch for Darren Helm, and uh, an interesting stretch by 
Evgeny Kuznetsov got the original penalty for hooking Brian and then subsequently threw his stick. You see it right there? Right there. Yeah. yeah, you can't do that. You can hand the stick to a teammate, but you can't throw it like that. An extra penalty. Maybe he didn't know that. Double minor against Kuznetsov. So, back-to-back -back power play opportunities here for the Blues in a 1-1 game as Steen hands it off. Oshie got hit a stick and ends up along the board. Blues number six on the power play. Caps tied for 17th on the PK. As Oshie diagonal pass at Kirk top of the circle. Straight away, one-timer Steen. Didn't get all the way through. Berglund sent it wide. Now taken away by back to relief pass for Brower first to speed through a couple of blues. Gets it backhand. And what do we got here? A penalty or a penalty shot? It's a slashing call. Yeah, slashing call. I don't see the indication there. Alexander Steen was on the point there. And he was just slow to react to Brower. After the turnover, Brower's going up the middle, and Steen just didn't turn in time to get back. Shattenkirk was on a worse angle. That was on Steen to try and get back there and protect that situation. Brower does a heck of a job there of protecting the puck, fighting off a couple of different players, and still getting a shot away. Now Washington was arguing, and naturally they would love to have a penalty shot there, but you see where Shattenkirk ends up for that slash. Brower still ended up getting a pretty good shot, and I'm sure that was the reason for the official calling it the way he did. So, four skaters aside, as this comes early in the double minor against Kuznetsov, Eight shorts now into the cap zone, hands it off, but Trangelo stuck a little behind him, but he recovered to jam it back to the corner. Ovechkin hands it off for Johansson into the blue zone. Johansson waits, takes the shot. Miller, good stop there, gave up a rebound, but Bo Meacher right there to skate it away, and now it's taken by Schwartz ahead for Petrangelo. Now Schwartz back to the line. Goliakobo with a shot save made by Holpe. Boy, did Holpe make a couple of saves during oh. that delayed penalty, showing his tremendous reflexes as Grabowski fans on the shot into the zone. Regathered, now Grabowski hammers one here. He scores! All of a sudden, Grabowski had some room, and he beats Miller for a four-on-four -four goal, and the Caps have regained the lead. Grabowski just smart here. You, nobody's pressuring him, so when he stops up right here, all the St. Louis Blues just go to the front of the net. Okay, everybody gets in position. Grabowski goes, okay, if you're not going to get me, it was Petrangelo who kind of faded away from him, and then kind of a pick play right there. You see how fair picked out Petrangelo? And that allowed Mikhail Grabowski another two seconds or so and a few extra strides to find the back of the net. Boy, St. Louis has been a terrific team four on four all season. Most of those stats reflective of their play. In overtime, but they've done it uh, in regulation as well. But they give up one here. 13th of the season for Grabowski. This has been in and out of the lineup because of injury. Just the 55th game that he's played in. As Ruyev sends it across now for Brower. Out to the line, Carrick sends it in wide. Eric Fair gets the uh, only assist on the goal by Grabowski. Oshie now for Berglund. Berglund wheels. Hands it off on the far side. Shot to the net through traffic. Oshie was in front of Holpe, and it's angled off the board perfectly for Brower. He's got Backstrom with him. Two St. Louis Blues, and now the other two are back. Backstrom back to the line. Alton across for Kraus, and it goes through him. And the Capitals have to regroup. Boy, Brower had a chance there on that two-on-one. He just wasn't fast enough. I don't think he had enough left in the tank. He just went off the ice now. Line change. We got an offside call here. But a quick up by Washington again. They got a, a, a decent scoring chance. Polak will move up on the play, and he'll get caught as Washington turns the puck over here. Look at that quick up. Brower anticipating. Polak is hustling to get back. I don't know why Brower stopped skating there. Brower should have been turning on the Jets and even headed for the corner, if possible. But stopping up played right into the hands of the Blues, who were able to recover after that. Derek Roy wins the draw cleanly from Joel Ward. Shatkirk, far side, one-timer on the way. And hopefully able to cover up. 
Boy, hope he's doing a heck of a job here. He's made some great saves. That shot from Steen, and the rebound comes out. Backus got his stick free, and he got another second whack at it. The hope he's been under control. I mentioned before, and I talked to him this morning, he said, yeah, I'm, I'm going back to that aggressive style. I'm getting out on the edge of the paint, paint and I'm going to challenge. He's challenged well in this game. Lose back on the power play, so Jack Kirk penalty is over. And hopefully letting his penalty killers know where that puck was going to come down on the ice. Ball's there. That's a long agent, Tim Eric, tried to jam it out of there, but it was blocked on the far side by Steen. Recovered by Derek Roy, now chased down by Alster. Alster plays it up the glass, and it gets by Steen down into the St. Louis center of the ice. And Shattenkirk has it now. You know what? Steen was caught on the play there, too. Now, Shattenkirk got back and got that puck, but the anticipation of the blue line defenders for St. Louis has got to be better because Washington's really flying the zone. Steen tries to send it across, angled off the boards. Jack Kirk hustles over to keep it alive, sends it along for Kaboka. With over 20 seconds left in the double minor to Kuznetsov. Now Chet Kirk hands it off Kaboka, top of the circle shot. That was blocked in front. Oh, David Beck is late on this power play. We just saw him limp down toward the St. Louis dressing room. Kaboka pass across. Shot here by Steen. Again, it did get all the way through. Beagle will backhand it up the board. Steen able to keep it alive. Because that's up out of the box. Derek Roy sends it across now for Samoka. Samoka's pass is blocked. And Jenny Kuznetsov through the neutral zone. Gets a shot away up high on Miller. And just missed it on the sixth side. Recovers the puck. Slides it here for Grabowski. Mikhail Grabowski now looking to make a play. That Kirk trying to stay with him. Now it comes to Kuznetsov. Trying a little give and go there, but Eric Jackman intercepts. Hands it off now to Steve out across the line. And tomorrow. Sends it around LaPierre, couldn't get to it. Now Baxter for the capital. Grabowski. Helps it into the blue zone. Miller out to play it. Helps it along on the near side. And Jack McLeese it ahead. Into the Capitals into the ice. Ryan Reeves is down there. This is the line that is accounted for the St. Louis goal. Reeves, backhand shot. Hope he got a piece of that. Now Ock gets to it. Steve Ock hands it off. Ock here with a shot. Glove save by Hopi. And he will hold it there. Grabowski with a four on four goal has given the Caps the 2 1 lead. You said this morning you wanted to be conscious of how much time your team was spending in your own zone. You've been happy with the way they played there. You know, we had a good first, I thought, and then, uh, you know, they, they had their wave in the second, got a goal. We just got one back, and then we had to kill four minutes. So now we got to regroup and hopefully get it out of there and spend some time down here. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. <laughs> I love the two fans in the, in the uh, Washington and St. Louis jerseys pretending they were doing the interview behind Brian and Adam there, but... Uh, Adam Oates was talking to him this morning about his time in St. Louis when he made music as part of the duo of uh, Hull and Oates. And it was hard to believe that it was just uh, over two and a half years that he's been here. I, I would have guessed, without looking it back up, that it was you know, four or five years that Adam played here with Brett Hull. But boy, did they ever have it going. And just uh, play offside at the uh, St. Louis line. And, uh, of course, a chance for Adam Oates back here in St. Louis to reconnect with his old buddy, Brett Hull. There, there they are at the uh, morning skate. And... Uh, Adam Oates played a total of 195 games with the Blues. In those 195 games, 58 goals, 228 assists. And Adam said that, uh, you know, he knew right away it was going to work. He said our personalities just met. And when uh, he talked about Brett Hall, it was interesting, Brian, he said he doesn't get enough credit for how smart he was as a player because he said you don't score like that without getting in the right position to use that great talent that he had. Yeah, no doubt. And he said, you know what, we didn't even play together on the same line really my first year, just on the power play. Now Petrangelo. Hands it off for Ott. Tips it into the capital zone. Reeves stumbled a bit there. Beagle comes up with it. Hands it off now for Penner. And Bruyette sends it into the St. Louis end of the ice. Penner out to the line. Carrick quickly to that safe. Rebound chance. Miller down. And the play is whistled down. The referee at center ice has spotted a hook. 
I think Jay Bo missed her in front of the net. Tom Wilson had decent position there and off that original shot. Looked like he had a chance to play. Watch number 43 in front. Oh, and then there's the hook. Right at the last minute, coming out from behind the net. Or excuse me, from the corner on Beagle. That was Bowmeister number 19. That was a good hook. I mean, it was well defended. And Bowmeister was somewhat amazed. He thought, hey, it's just a good play. It prevented the guy from taking the shot. But he gets called for hooking. Well, 1301, the time of the... Penalty, of course, the Caps one for one on the power play. Ovechkin so to Carlson with a shot at Miller. Able to hang out there. Puck control from the faceoff, always important. And I've noticed a couple of the St. Louis Blues players been talking to the linesmen too about trying to, you know, get it straight on the faceoffs. They're they're very much into the details. Bacchus and Sabotka, I know, of talking to Steve Miller, the uh, linesman, a couple of times in this game. No, no, no. Now Jackman plays it out to center ice. Here is Schwartz with it, hands it off. Sabotka will have shot into the glove of Holtby. He will hold it there. A lot of action going on around the league. What's going on now, Liam? Dave, thanks. Time for game break. It's Columbus and Phoenix, a big-time wild-card situation here. Blake Como decides one on five. I'll just fire away. Thomas Grice is still not Mike Smith. 3-2. Yeah, that could end up being the undoing of the Coyotes, the loss of Mike Smith. That game at uh, Madison Square Garden. Grice has played well. But certainly a drop-off when you lose the goaltender of the caliber of Smith, but you remember what he did for the Coyotes in their run to the conference finals a couple of years ago. Now here's Carlson, sends it across. One timer on the way from Ovechkin, and Miller was in position to make the save, and it's sent back the other way. St. Louis was a little sloppy inside their own zone there, trying to get the puck up along the wall, turned into a scoring chance for Washington. Now Backstrom, below the goal line. Hanson out to Carlson with a shot. That sounded like it may have caught yeah, the iron as it went by. Yep. Now tipped out to the line. Carlson again to the net quickly. Bounces off a of Backstrom, fanned on by Ovechkin. No 40 seconds remaining in the St. Louis penalty to Jay Bowmeister. Hanson. Hanson off now for Nicholas Backstrom. Backstrom tried to get it across, hit a skate. And Oshie looking to break with it. Carlson got a stick on it, but it comes out to the center right. Well, Beskid has it now with just over five minutes remaining in the second period. Beskid now for Joel Ward. Ward takes it to the hash mark, hands it off for Kuznetsov. Evgeny Kuznetsov now. Time winding down to the power play, got it to the front. Miller down with a puck cleared by the Blues to the near side as Bowmeister comes out of the box. I don't know that Jason Chimera really thought that puck was actually going to get to him. It almost startled him. They got it right in the crease. Quick up now for Schwartz. Hands it off. Oh, she breaks the stick on a great scoring chance. And it's back the other way for Ward. Passes across to Ovenkin, who's still out here after the power play. Then to the front. Redirected right on middle of the save. Outstretched arms, but he couldn't get to the puck. Fortunately for him, the Blues started the other way. Yaskin number 26, rink wide pass, finds its mark in Steen. Now it comes back to Yaskin. Now around on the far side of the capital zone, Petrangelo. Hands it off for Jackman, straight away. Steen with a shot set just wide. And Jaden Schwartz hit the side of the net. Yaskin taken hard to the board, and there's going to be a penalty here against the St. Louis or excuse me, against the Washington Capitals, a power play for the St. Louis Blues. And the former Blues, Strachan is the guilty party right there. Blues power play after this. Download the NBC Sports Live Extra app to watch the game live on your phone or tablet. NBC Sports Live Extra app on NBCSports.com slash Live Extra and NHL.com. Dyson Strachan in the box. Here is Steen now at the line. 
Josh checking the call on Strachan. Shot here, does not get through, goes off a skate. Back to start back with Brower. Chris crosses, Brower will have shot at Miller the save, he'll hold it there. The St. Louis team is going to have to be aware of Troy Brower in particular when he's out there, but shorthanded, Washington's been very aggressive. I mean, their forwards' anticipation when they think that their defensemen are going to get the puck, they're pressing up. Even though it's four against five, and get a decent shot at the net here. But they had several outnumbered attack chances in this period and earlier on, too, in the game. Lose control the draw. Third power play for them, they are 0 for 2. Drilling 2 to 1. Being taken the board, now hammered by Carlson around and all the way down into the bruised end of the ice. Gatterk enters the zone. Lee Schwartz couldn't get to it, but Samoka does. Hands it off now to Schwartz. the way Schwartz got it back now his pass intercepted by Johansson who hands it off to Eric Bear. Bear trying to make a move picked up Johansson a shot on the glove saved by Miller and he holds it there. Good job by Johansson to come in right behind Fair. There again pretty aggressive offensively by Washington and down down a man. Fair takes it gets checked but pushes his man back and Johansson smart enough to come in and just picks up that loose puck he hammers it. I mean that's that's a heck of a chance. That, Terrific shot and a good save there by Miller. Face off controlled by Roy. 45 seconds still remaining in this loose power play. Oshi into the Capitals end and bounces off the leg. It's knocked down now by Petrangelo. Connor Carrick shaking up on the play. He realizes he's got to get back up on the penalty kill here. Berglund sends it back to the point. Koliakovo walks the line, sends it across. Petrangelo to the dot. Drops it back, just didn't connect cleanly there with Berglund. Now sends it around on the far side. And the puck will roll back into the St. Louis zone. Boy, the power play just out of sync here for, for uh, St. Louis. Just not getting the flow. One of the top power plays percentage-wise in the National Hockey League. And just can't get it going right now in this one. Carlson back to get it. Strachan is out of the box. Gold Ward has it center ice. Crosses the line with Strachan and Camara. Strachan will head to the bench to make the change as Camara trying to protect the puck along the board. Against the tough defender at Roman Polak. And now the puck chips off the wall for Bowmeister. Long, graceful strides of his as he sends it into the capital zone. Now Ott tried to jam it to the front. Bounces out to the line. Bowmeister there. Now for Ryan Reed. LaPierre, who has the St. Louis goal. Now it's out of the stick of Camara. Late at the center ice. And Ward will hamper this puck into the Blues net. 25 remaining. In the second, quick up. Trying to hit LaPierre there at the end of their shift. And Dimitri Orloff now plays it ahead. Backstrom, right side for Ovechkin. Ovechkin looks across, drops it back. Back to score! It's usually the other way around. But that time it's Ovechkin to Backstrom, and it's a 3-1 Washington lead. Just some listless play by St. Louis. They had an offensive chance on a stretch pass on a line change by the Washington Capitals, and then they come back and just don't quite get the job done. Ovechkin hangs onto the puck. Backstrom finds a seam right in the middle. Ovechkin finds him right on the tape. Oshie stops skating for a second. And before Jackman could move up on Backstrom, he's right in between those two, gets the puck and goes top shelf. And it's an even strength goal for the Ovechkin line. And Jackman now sets it ahead. Blues would have been offside, they tagged up. Now Steen pulls it off the wall, trying to set up a chance here. In the last minute of the second period, the stick of Carlson comes up. Uh, they call holding the stick. Oh, got a penalty. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was going to be on the on the Washington player. His stick came up, but it, no, it's going against Schwartz for holding the stick. 
over in the far corner. Didn't get a good look at that one. Jaden Schwartz is number nine. There it is, right there. Just subtle little pull on uh, Carlson, because Carlson was trying to go into the corner. Good eye there by the referees. It was Steve Kazari who called that one. Orloff got the other assist along with Ovechkin on the back from goal. Oh, he had it poked away. Here's Brower with it. Capitals still have some time to do some more damage here in this second period. Just under 40 seconds remaining. Ovechkin. Brower moves it along. Backstrom let it go. He knew he had Carlson out of the point. Now Backstrom again tried to go back to Carlson. It's picked off by Bergman. He tries to explore a shorthanded chance. Something more than a long-range shot that hit up high on the glass. Now Johansson. A little to pull away from LaPierre. Ten seconds left in the period. Pollock played. Johansson strong, now it comes to Carlson, sends it across to Ovechkin with a shot. That deflection before it got to Miller. As the horn sounds to end, the second period of play. Coming up on the Discover Card, second intermission report with Liam and Keith. The Leafs on the brinks. And Sabres hanging around the Red Wings. There will be some final scores the guys will be able to pass along in this second intermission. Games that have... Implications for the teams involved and a lot of others like the Capitals that are scoreboard watching. 3-1 Caps at the end of two. Back at Scott Trade Center, you see we're all lined up and ready to go for the start of the third period with still a minute eight remaining. And the Jaden Schwartz holding the stick penalty. Johansson angles it off the boards out to the line. Carlson straight away, now to Ovechkin, whips it to the far side. Backstrom wait, takes the shot, he scores! Another power play goal, and that's four against Miller on the night for the Capitals. They have a 4-1 to one lead. They were just so relaxed on that power play. They got it in, moved it around. Backstrom took his time. Look at this one-touch pass right through the seam. Backstrom controls it. Nobody challenges him. He comes out, measures it, and puts it past Miller. Miller comes out, decent angle, oh, he screened at first. I don't think he catches it right away. Good screen job in front of the net, too. I believe that was Johansson right in his face, steps aside. Miller only got a piece, and it's four to one. Well, the man with the most goals and most power play goals in the league, Ovechkin has uh, scored on the power play tonight. The guy with the most power play points, Nicholas Baxter, gets the goal there. So his two goals late in the second and early in the third in terms of the uh, playing time were separated by just a minute and 26 seconds. The pass across by the Blues is blocked and cleared by the Caps out to center right, so that Chattenkirk fires it right back in. And let's get it, Carl, to get the assist. Eric Bear with a shot, and now Cole Ward with it. David Backus, who took a shot to the lower body from his teammate Alex Dean, left the ice in the second period. He did not come out to the bench to start the third. Pass along any update if we get one. Now here is Brower, knocks it down, sends it across for Dustin Penner. Penner just slides it along the boards in behind the St. Louis net. Recovered now by Johansson, tries to duck underneath the Samoska check. Penner, back to Johansson. I'm up and watch the Capitals doing some effective cycling in the blue zone, and as I say that, it's finally taken away, and Gasket for St. Louis puts it back into the Capitals' end. Yeah, it's not that usual tenacity on the check, even in their own zone by St. Louis. They're just sort of mirroring them. Nobody's really finishing anybody and taking them out of the play. Now Beagle, had it knocked away, Berkland plays it ahead for Oshie. Oshie giving a shove, but pushes the puck into the capital zone. Strachan back to play it. Knocks off a hit stick, Derek Roy trying to get it to the front. Knocked down by Dimitri Orloff, who plays it along the boards. It'll be held in here by the Blues. Berkland sends it back in deep. 
Ritchie tried to get control off his stick. Now Wilson plays it ahead or tried to to contest off. That didn't come out of the zone. Now Holtby will play it around on the near side. Frantzolo able to hold it in. No, he did not. Well, you mentioned David Backus has not come out for the third period. Here's what happened to him in that last period. Down the bottom of your screen in front of the net. Take a shot off the inside of his foot. And after he goes down, he's very slow to get up. Came back for another shift. Later on, gave it a try and ended up going to the locker room. It appeared to hit him on the inside of the foot. You can see he's not putting much weight on that left, left leg as he left. Owen Polak will slap it along the boards behind Holpe. Capitals didn't get any of the out-of-town help that they were looking for as both Columbus and Detroit have won tonight. So if the Capitals were to lose this game in regulation, they would be out of it tonight. But they can keep their continually fading the playoff hopes alive if they can get two points here. Owen Polak with it now. Shoots it wide of the Capitals' net. Backstrom tried to clear the zone. The Blues dump it right back behind the Washington net for the near side. Carl Alster with it. Now Backstrom drops it back. Thompson risking it along the boards in behind Ryan Miller. Now Polak with it. Petrangelo. Cancel off. Steen just out of his reach. Nothing offensively, Brian, ha happening smoothly for the uh, St. Louis Blues tonight. No, they're not handling the puck very well on their power play or five on five. It's just, it, it's kind of hard to explain the, the, the field down here. There's almost a listlessness, and they're, they're just not playing the game that they usually play. Let's take a look at tonight's fast recovery presented by Advil, Brian. And that would be Troy Brower, who got taken in the boards and really was out on his feet, ran into his own teammate, had trouble getting off the ice. When he did recover, he was out there short-handed, drew a penalty, that made it four on four, and then that's when Grabowski was able to score that goal, four on four, to push the Washington Capitals ahead. Brower's looked fine ever since he spent a couple of minutes on the bench after that hit from Jackson into the boards and then collision with the old hand. Advil, as fast as it is strong. Oshie trying to hold this puck in, hit his glove and uh, whistled down by the linesman who looks around behind him. I think he was probably getting some help verbally from the Washington bench and looked around as if to say, I've got it guys. Well, Washington's controlled the pace and the tempo pretty well. They they haven't spent much time in their own zone. They've taken that cycle game of the St. Louis Blues away from them, dumped the puck out of the zone the way they said they were going to, and the way they've handled the puck and their success, obviously, on the power play has been huge. Big hit by Ocean. That was on Brower. Comes back to the line. Jack a shot. Had to get that to check. Now some both with a hit. Like the Blues suddenly have opened up. Fire. Yep. Yeah. I mean, they could use some of that, certainly, if they're going to get themselves back into this game. If somebody's got to fire them up. Jackson with a shot. Sails in high and wide. Now Jackson will it again. Out to Oshi. Takes the shot. Goes to Jackman. Traffic in front. I think he was trying to shot pass there. Now he comes back to Oshi. Able to get it through. Shot Kirk and Holtby hanging on. T.J. Oshie with a hood, hit on Brower in the corner, cracking the puck down. Blues haven't done much of this, but that's just a good, solid hit. Brower never saw him coming from the blind side over his shoulder, turned right into him. Oshie took him out with some force. And Amos talking about Western Conference teams and teams that he really likes for the Stanley Cup. He talked about St. Louis, and he mentioned L.A. as well. He says, those are teams that you're going to lose to a couple of players in the series when you play against them. That's how hard they are to play against. Here is Schwartz now. Centering pass, a chance here, and it was blocked. Off the stick of Steen and up high on the glass, and now the Capitals able to clear. It's not like St. Louis hasn't had their chances. They've had four or five great chances, just like the one Steen had a few seconds ago, and they've come away with nothing. Ashton tried to move it ahead, blocked by Backstrom into the blue zone, and now Obi just slides to the cross. Collected into the cap zone, and the Blues making changes now as Washington back the other way. Allister around the board behind Miller. He's given up four goals here for the third time in his last four starts. The other game was the wild shutout, one nothing shutout against the uh, Philadelphia Flyers. 
that we had on NBCSN uh, last week. Steps on, plays it ahead, Pollock blocks it, hands it off, down Roy. Brings it back into the Washington zone. Little slip pass for Steve Ott. Connor Carrick missed him with a attempt in check. Well, they try to get it to the front. Capitals able to defend it well. Out of the line, Pollock rolls it back. Bounces off the stick of Brendan Morrow. Covered here by Yet, and it's out to center ice. Capitals are going to get to it. Here's Tom Wilson now on the attack. Hands it off to Beagle, off to his stick. And Derek Roy from St. Louis plays it up the far side. Oh, jeez. Pressure by a couple of Capitals. Lost the puck. Derek Roy able to get it back. And Roman Polak now with it for the Blues. Oh, jeez. Off of his stick and out to center right. The Mocha drops it back. The Trangelo ahead for Berkeley. Wolfie moves it to Morlock, he took a hit, and it's skipped by Petrangelo back to the center right. Ryan Miller out to move it away from Fair, and Petrangelo. Hands it off, and Bergman got it deep. Joel Ward pass to flex into the crowd and out of play. The guy that's normally the setup man. The great passer, Backstrom, with his second goal of the game, 17th of the season, 4-1. Ken Hitchcock said this morning, we've got to stop chasing the game, and we've got to stop staring at the puck. Watch the first Backstrom goal. Backstrom's on the right side of your screen at the top. Look at TJ Oshie coming back, Jackman in the middle of the ice, both staring at the puck. Nobody gets to Backstrom in time. Backstrom gets it, and gets an easy one in the top shelf. That's the epitome of what Hitchcock was talking about. Yeah. Oshi, after a turnover, gets a shot away. Hit. Rebound opportunity for Schwartz, and Eric Bear was there defending. Among the other things Ken Hitchcock said, as far as getting into the playoffs and whether they win their division or win the conference, is Chimera now with some speed and a shot here, and Miller kicks it aside. He said it really doesn't matter who you play, it's how you're playing. And right now he doesn't like how they're playing, and he talked to length about the uh, couple of days of practice that they've had and as a group knowing they need to refocus. But boy, it hasn't translated to their performance here tonight. And we're going to see them again here on NBCSN Thursday in Minnesota. And we're going to see them on NBC Sunday afternoon, last day of the season, against an old division nemesis now in the Eastern Conference, the Detroit Red Wings. And Johansson plays it to the far side. Eric hustles over, collided there with LaPierre. Now here is Johansson. Hands it off for Penner. Third back into the Washington zone, and now it comes to Johansson. Turned over. Ott, high slot. Makes the shot now. He looks, waits, drops it back nicely for Trangelo. And that's in the glove of Braden Holpe. And as Ryan Reeves gets the uh, stick up. Players come together. Reeves has lost his helmet in the middle of that scrum. That Dustin Penner in there, too. Well, tomorrow, a doubleheader on Wednesday night rivalry. A possible first-round matchup preview between Detroit and Pittsburgh. That'll be followed up by San Jose and Anaheim. A couple of big teams from the Pacific Division. And then, as I mentioned, Thursday night, Brian and I in St. Paul for the Blues and the Wild. Minnesota clinching the playoff spot tonight. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to the Flyers who have clinched with their win over Florida. That's a final now. And a bit of closer to completing the field. We just don't know all the matchups yet. As a shot up onto the netting and out of play with 11-11 remaining here in the third. Alexander Ovechkin with his 50th goal of the season. What a beautiful shot that was. A couple of assists too. They moved the puck well, just very calm. He and his teammates have really kept the tempo of this game down at, at the level that they want. They haven't let the St. Louis Blues get loose at all. Old Major trying to get a shooting lane. Never got through. And now Berglund sends it back to the line. Put Trangelo with a shot. Deflected right at the side of the net by Yaskin. He tried to quickly get it back out in front. Now here's the most with it. Carlson takes a hit from Yaskin around the board. 
Ole Miss just tried to shove it along it. The puck's all the way to the near side of the capital net for Trangelo. First to Volcker. Alster ties him up. Beagle in there as well. Officials want them to keep the puck moving. And Washington's fine with this. They're, they'll keep the puck along the wall. They don't, they don't care. Time's running out on St. Louis down by three goals, and they're, they're in control on the wall. And the pass up to the high slot goes between Ole Miss and Petrangelo. And the Blues have to go all the way back behind their own net. Oshie goes to the outside. Dean with a hit on Orlov. Ovechkin with it. Ooh, a giveaway there, but closed off by Backstrom as he recovered to negate the Steen opportunity. Good quick reaction there by Backstrom. That was a bad turn from right in the slot there by Ovechkin. Ovechkin gets this puck deep. And that, that's got to be epitome day. Yeah. A, a chance suddenly for St. Louis to come away with nothing. Strachan plays it ahead. Into the blue zone. Only Akabo. Olaf plays it ahead. Oshi deflects it deep into the capital zone. Strachan back to make the play. Now a leap pass for Kamara, racing after it. No icing here. Now Coley Akabo. Knocked away by Ward. Centering pass, quick shot. Miller, the save, wasn't sure where it was, but it deflected up over the glass and out of play. We'll step away past the halfway mark of the third. Caps by three. Game two of the game break. The Caps cling to their postseason dreams, but Toronto's have tumbled away. They lose three zip to Tampa tonight. That plus a Columbus victory means the Leafs have been eliminated from the postseason picture. Dave. Oh, sadness in Canada. Vancouver eliminated, and then uh, Toronto. One Canadian team, the Montreal Canadiens, looks like it's going to be the only one to make the playoffs. What a collapse by Toronto down the stretch. And uh, Tampa Bay with that win, that was their game in hand with Montreal, so they closed it within two of the Canadians for home ice. And that first round matchup. A backhand of the cross. Jackman on the rush, hands it off, a shot here by Roy, hit a skate. Jackman comes over to play the puck. Knocked away by the Capitals. Nobody able to control, now it's sent to the end board. Roy is there again. Knocked away out to the line, Jackman shot wide of the net. Now it goes out to the point, Jackman waits, takes the shot, knocked down. Hopefully he poked it away. Recovered by the Blues. Knocked away from Brendan Morrow, comes out to the right point for Chattenkirk. Now Ott with it. Knocked down, Holtby trying to fight it. Capitals able to clear. Ott with it again. Stepping up though is Connor Carrick. And Bear able to dump it out to center ice. Boy, Holtby with a series of good saves again. He's just moving so well, so easily, so smoothly in the net. Tracking the puck really well. Great pad saves, especially. Quick legs in this game. Done a terrific job, and he's done it in such a calm manner. You have to make key saves at the right time. That's always the biggest thing, of course. But the manner in which you move in the net is so important. It gives your team so much confidence. Look at this. Look at how he's just kicking. Like Flipper's on a pinball machine there, kicking his legs out. Coming out and challenging something he says he wants to do. He's fell out of the net there. Look at those legs again. Outstanding stuff there from Brayden Holtby. Well, as you mentioned, Adam Oates touched on it. They, they hope it, it settles into something kind of in between maybe where he started the season, where they wanted to take his style a little bit and, and what he settled on because, you know, Adam Oates pointed out if there's too many spectacular saves, that just probably means your goaltender's out of position, but he acknowledged what terrific reflexes, what great feet that uh, great home he has. So just settling on a happy medium. Yeah, you could tell though when I, I talked to him this morning, he, he was just like, he just was never comfortable with being back in the paint, back in the crease deeper with the way they wanted him to. So he's... He's trying to find that right magic mixture, and he, he's got it right tonight for sure. Track it down for the Capitals along the board. Penner. Knocked away by Petrangelo. Picked up. Yeah, going to shot. I think that was blocked in front before it got to Yeah, hit a leg. And now Orloff will play it back into the St. Louis end of the ice.
Holmeister plays it ahead and uh, play is offside. Talked to Adam Oates this morning. It was interesting. He was using a little uh, Jacques Lemaire language. He was, of course, an assistant coach under Jacques Lemaire in New Jersey before he took this job in Washington. And he said, I'll take some video and I'll show it to a guy and I'll say, this picture doesn't look right. That's something Jacques Lemaire would say. That, that play doesn't look right. And then he'll go to the player and say, where should you be? He'll go, yeah, you should be over there about three or four feet to the right or the left there. Make them see themselves out of the position. But it's a, it's a great expression. That picture doesn't look right. Yeah. Hope he settles this puck down. Alter. Another scrum along the boards of the capital zone. Now it comes free, but goes between the two St. Louis players. The other thing that uh, Adam mentioned this morning in talking about Jacques LeBaire, you know, LeBaire, of course, as you know, Brian was a terrific center ice man, and he said to Adam Oates, you're going to be a good coach because you're a center. Shot here deflected just wide of Holpe. Yeah, exactly. You're going to be a good coach because you're a centerman because you have to play all four corners. Reed, backhand shot, just sails wide. Polak moves it along. Picked up by LaPierre, who has the only blue goal. Ah, that shot uh, was wide and now sent to center ice for Beagle. Hands it off for Carlson, and he flips it into the blue zone. In case you're joining us late, wondering why you're not hearing the name David back as he went out in the second period, did not come back to the start of the third. After Taking a shot to the foot, teammate Alexander Steen is back in the lineup after missing three with an injury of his own. Well, hopefully for the Blues and for David Back, it's nothing serious. And Strachan will send it in. Out to play at Miller, angles it off the boards now, Koliakovo pushes it ahead. Now Pierre is Wilson with a big hit on Koliakovo and we get a whistle to stop play at the Washington line. Three-goal lead for the Capitals. Well, that puck he's talking about was that last second shot by Lindstrom in the dying seconds of Game 7 oh, yeah. of the 2009 Stanley Cup Final. The Penguins and Red Wings met in 08, and Detroit celebrated in Pittsburgh's building, the old Mellon Arena, after a win in Game 6. And, of course, the Penguins got to return the favor and celebrate at the Joes. This puck hit the curved glass by the bench and out of play. And so those two teams could have... A reunion of the playoffs in the first round coming up next week. And there's that familiar stare you were talking about, Brian. Yeah, he's getting in that mode. He was very talkative today, Ken Hitchcock, but he said by the time Monday rolls around, he said, I'm not going to be nice to you media guys. I'm going to be in that playoff mode as well, too, and I expect my players to be. <laughs> but he was very friendly and talkative this morning. Uh, he's one of the great guys in our game to listen and talk hockey as we get a penalty coming here. Delayed call. Going to go against the Washington Capitals. And he does become a bear when the playoffs roll around. Got a penalty coming up. Looks like Joel Ward. It's a hooking call. Play along the wall. St. Louis has spent more time in their own zone. St. Louis has been on the forecheck rather better in this third period. Washington has been in their own zone along the left side of your screen, along the wall. I believe that's where the penalty occurred. And the hooking call puts the Blues on their fourth power play. Derek Roy. Alter and Carlson are there. Carlson able to get enough on it to get it to the line, but not out. Held in by Shattenkirk. Dumps it back in deep. Hammered by Carlson around. Only Akimo held it in. Jack Kirk. Redirected high tip there by Roy. Went wide of the net. Now off to Jack Kirk. Back to Oshie. P.J. Oshie. Back to the line. Jack Kirk. Quick shot. Too many bodies to try to get it through. Only Akimo again. Oshie hands it off. Here is Steen. And Steen's shot was blocked by Alzer. Alexander Steen gets it back. Oshie with it now. Out to the line straight away. Gets the return. Oshie able to get it through to Shattenkirk. Far side down center for Roy. And he missed the net. Everything but in. They just can't find the back of the net when they get their best chances. Now Shattenkirk. 
Back for Oshie. Oshie with a long range shot off the tip of the glove with Holby. Now Steen tried to get it back to the front. Carlson plays it around and it's out to center right. No! Oshie with it across the line. While he was falling, made the play back to Shaq. Kirk Hammers one here. Save rebound chance for Roy and he missed the net. Handle on the board. One of the Capitals players is down. The puck comes free, but it missed Shaq. Kirk and rolls all the way back into the St. Louis zone. And one of the other things Hitchcock was asked about this morning was the loss in Chicago. Did he feel it was carryover from all the shenanigans that happened in the game against Colorado? Came up with a, another great pitchism, as we like to call them. He said, you can't afford to carry the debris from one game to the next. <laughs> if you can't hit the reset button at this time of year and put that stuff behind you, you're not going to be a very good team. I love that. Carry the debris from the previous game. He's got his own language for the game. He's, he's actually coined a lot of phrases that are used throughout the game now. That would have been offside. The Blues will pick it up and start it back the other way. Capitals are back at full strength. Here is LaPierre. LaPierre again. Pass the lone goal for the St. Louis Blues. Out to the line. Olak it across. Petrangelo lets it go now and hopefully makes the save. Yeah, just a bit of a controlled scrum. Oh, a little punch over the top there by Lapierre. Trying to get in the face, literally, of Eric Fair. Jamera's in there as well. Well, we'll update you again on the uh, Eastern Conference. And notice the little X, uh, which denotes uh, clinching a playoff spot. Uh, now one next to Philadelphia. Just the two wild card seems to be determined and uh, we've got Washington placed above Toronto because it looks like Washington is going to get a couple of points out of this one. They will leapfrog over. Toronto has been eliminated so it's just uh, between Washington, New Jersey, Columbus, Detroit, which two of those four teams will get in in the East, certainly Detroit and Columbus. Have it all in their hands with the uh, three games remaining. All they need to do is uh, get a couple of more points each. And Montreal and Tampa, they're only two points apart there with a couple of games left for each of those teams, too. Home ice advantage will be big in that series. Same with uh, the Rangers and Flyers. Yep. The home ice and the... Uh, Boy, the Rangers just keep smoking right along. They've been terrific the last several weeks. Jack Kirk, angle off the board, slap back the other way. I saw a great uh, stat on, on Twitter yesterday uh, from a good source, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> And that was that the, the New York Rangers were 16th, I think, in the first half of the season in save percentage and first in the second half, and most of that because of uh, Henrik Lundqvist, certainly. Yeah, Lund Lundqvist has been uh, the old Henrik Lundqvist uh, second half of the season, no doubt, after a slow start. Their team really came around. you got to give them a lot of credit, a lot of adversity the Rangers went through at the very beginning of this year, and uh, they pulled themselves out of it. Ask it out. The Blues on the brink of their first three-game losing streak of the season. This was only the fifth time they had lost two in a row. But it's not just three losses. It's a crowd response to a big Sabotka hit. And Dave, this is the first regulation win Washington's going to have since March 18th. Yeah, they've only got 21 on the season. This will only be their 22nd uh, regulation victory. Yeah, this is the hit the crowd response. Reacted to Sabotka on Alsner. Sabotka is made of stone, I think. Carl Alsner just found that out. I mean, now the Blues, with this loss, of, as I was about to say, not only three in a row, but they'll fall to two and four in their last six games. And that's not the kind of stretch that Ken Hitchcock and the coaching staff have in mind. Of course, uh, everyone will be awaiting as this shot gets through and hopefully covers up the news on David Backus. Dave, I've seen it both ways, though, too. You see teams that go into the playoffs like 10 and 1, just on a roll. Yeah. Lose game one in the playoffs, and what does it matter? And conversely, you have a team that's really struggling, backs their way in, wins game one, just starts playing great in the playoffs, and away you go. Game one of the playoffs changes, <laughs> you know, all that stuff. It just goes away instantly. The, the best example that I go back to all the time is the 96 playoffs, Colorado against Detroit at Joe Louis Arena. I mean, Colorado had been hammered by the Red Wings. The Red Wings had that 
what, 60 win, 130 point season. Mike Keene scores in overtime in game one at the Joe, and it changed everything for Colorado, and they went on to win the series and the Stanley Cup as this play is offside. And there's other examples, you're right, Brian, uh, it, it changes so much. That's game one of the playoffs. Yeah, that's why the teams, you know, talk about we just have to be playing the right way. You do your best to get all your ducks in a row and, and be playing well and, and be steaming into the playoffs. But, you know, it, it's tough to follow that. And if you're the Washington Capitals, even though you need help, well, you got to be, if you're that most proud of the way they came into a difficult building against a tough team, struggling as they might be, uh, to play the game the Capitals have played. You talked about it, Brian, being a much more patient type of game than maybe the Capitals yes. would have played earlier in the season, and it paid off. They, oh, still, nice. they still get their four goals. Exactly. They, they played a very smart game, and Holtby has definitely held them in because St. Louis, you know, got some scoring chances early on. Holtby was fantastic and it could easily have been a different game. So he gave them that opportunity as well, too. But it's really a clutch win here for Washington. Eagle turn, shot blocked. His nets off. Final 10 seconds. Oh, big hit there on his nets off. And Coley Akimo, who was upset that he was taken down earlier in this shift and a penalty wasn't called, takes out his frustration on the Caps rookie. Oh yeah, geez, that's a pretty vicious cross check right across the side of the neck there. His nets off goes down. Poliakovo will cool it for the last three seconds in the penalty box. His nets off is up again. Looks like he's okay staying on the ice. That ear doesn't feel too good right now. 3.1 seconds remaining. First three game losing streak for the St. Louis Blues. Ovechkin gets his 50th goal. Joins an elite list of players that have had five 50-goal seasons in their career. He did it on the power play. And Holtby turned out to be the right choice in goal. He was terrific. Giving up just the LaPierre goal early in the second period. 4-1, our final score, the Capitals over the Blues. In just a moment, Brian Inglom will have an interview with one of the stars of tonight's game. I'm Dave Strader for the rest of our crew. Stay with us. We'll check in with Liam McHugh, NHL Overtime, presented by Bud Light. Liam? Dave, thanks so much. So the Caps live to play another meaningful game.